Hi students, how are you today? Welcome all to Top Tutors, Topper C Learning Classes. Understand every single concept and be a topper. Today we are going to do 10 standard CBSC mathematics. Exercise 1.4. Question number one. There are 10 sub questions are there. We will do all the questions in the session. Okay. Before starting the questions, let us recap what we have learned in the last session. Okay. So to determine the nature of the decimal expansion of rational number, what are the steps we have to do? So a rational number is given without doing actual division we have to find the nature of the decimal expansion so there are two type of decimal expansion for rational number one is terminating decimal expansion and second one is non-terminating recurring means non-ending but repeating okay so the steps first steps make into co-primes if not the given rational number, if it is in the uh, not the form of co-primes, you have to make into co-primes. How will you make? Divide both numerator and denominator by highest common factor. Simplifying into their uh, smallest term, both the numerator and denominator, just divide by common factors. Or you can prime factorize numerator and denominator, and you can <laughs> simplify by canceling the common factors. Both way we can do, but better make them to co primes first, then prime factorize denominator. If prime factors of denominator is of the form two raised to m into five raised to n, what is the meaning? It means it contains only two or five or both two and five. Then it is a rational number with terminating decimal expansion number. So once we factorize, if the denominator has only two or only five or both two and five, then what is the nature? Nature of that decimal expansion of that rational number is terminating. If prime factors of denominator contains prime numbers other than 2 and 5, it is a rational number with non terminating but recurring, means repeating decimal expansion. Fine. So these steps are thorough, right? Okay, so let's start the problems. Exercise 1.4, first question, sub question 1. Without actually performing the long division, state whether the following rational numbers will have a terminating decimal expansion or a non terminating repeating decimal expansion. 13 divided by 3125. So nothing is common in 13 and 3125 to simplify. So what do you have to do? We have to prime factorize the denominator. It means 3, 1, 2, 5. Prime factorize it. It is not divisible by 2, not divisible by 3. Right? 3 plus 1, 4, 4 plus 2, 6, 6 plus 5 is 11. It is not a multiple of 3. So it is not divisible by 3. Since the last digit is 5, it is divisible by 5. In 3, no. So 31, how many times? 6 times. 6 fives are 30. Remaining 1. So take 1 here, the 12. In 12, 2 times. 2 fives are 10. So remaining 2. So consider 25. In 25, 5 times. Again, 6 to 5 is divisible. The, the prime factor is 5. Right, divisible by 5. In 6, one time. 
remaining one so 12 how many times two times two fives are ten so remaining two in 25 five times again it is divisible by five in 12 two times two fives are ten remaining two take it as 25 in 25 five times again 25 is divisible by five how many times five again five is divisible by five one so one two three four five so we can write this as five raised to five correct so the denominator is in the form of is in the form of what well, is a form it is two raised to zero into five raised to five it is in the form of two raised to m into five raised to n it contains only five other than two and five no other prime factors are there in the number three in the prime factorization of three one two five so what will be the decimal expansion decimal expansion will will be terminating terminating correct so this dance fine 3, 1, 2, 5 equal to 5 raised to 5. The denominator is of the form 5 raised to m. Hence, the decimal expansion of 13 by 3, 1, 2, 5 is terminating. Is terminating. Fine. Let us go for the second question. Second question. What is the second question? Without actually performing the long division, state whether the following rational number will have a terminating decimal expansion or a non-terminating repeating decimal expansion. Same question, but the given number is 17 by 8. So nothing is common. There's no common factors for 17 and 8. So what do you have to do? 8, you have to prime factorize. 2, how many times? 4 times. Again, 2, how many times? 2 times. Again, 2, how many times? one time so this denominator eight we can write in the form of two raised to three so denominators prime factorization contain only two so the decimal expansion will be terminating decimal expansion clear eight equal to two raised to three so the denominator is of the form two raised to m hence the decimal expansion of 17 by eight is terminating let us go for the third question here 64 by 4 55 4 55 let's uh, let us prime factorize 455 nothing is common 64 in and 455 right they are co primes so 455 it is divisible by 5 prime number in 4 no 45 how many times in 45 nine times right right then five one times then 91 it is divisible by seven it's divisible by seven here also you can use the divisibility rule double one and subtract from the remaining part so two subtracting from nine it will become seven that like that way also you can do or 10 times 7 is 20 20 i mean 70 70 plus 21 is 91 anyway it is divisible by 7 in 9 how many times one time one sevens are 7 remaining uh, 2 in 21 three times so 13 is the prime number so it is divisible by 13 only so 455 can be written as 5 raised to 1 into 7 raised to 1 into 13 raised to 1. So other than 2 and 5, there is 7 is the 7 is the and 13 is the right. In the prime factorization as only 2 or 5 or both 2 and 5, it will come terminating. Other than 2 and 5, any other prime numbers are there in the prime factorization, then it will come the second category. Non-terminating repeating so here what happened this will be non-terminating repeating 455 equal to 5 into 5 times 7 times 13 
since the denominator is not in the form of 2 raised to m into 5 raised to n and it also contains 7 and 13 as its factors its decimal expansion will will be non terminating repeating non terminating repeating fourth question fourth question 15 by 1600 they are not co primes right five is a common factor so we can simplify it five in 15 three times five in 16 how many times three three fives are 15 so carry over remaining one so you have to take it as 10 in 10 how many times 10 two times so remaining zero we have to so we have we have simplified to co prime uh, form three by 320 now 320 you have to prime factorize 320 when you are prime, prime factorizing two how many times in three one times so there's a remaining one in 12, six times, we have to bring, bring zero down. Again, in 162, how many times? In 16, eight times, bring zero down. In 80, how many times? In eight, four times, bring zero down. 40, how many times? Two, two times, bring zero down. 20, how many times? One, bring zero. Again, two, how many times? Five times. Again, five, how many times? One time. So this 320 can be written as one, two, three, four, five, six times, right? So two to the power six into times, times five raised to one, correct? So this is in the form of, this is in the form of two raised to m, into phi raised to n form. So what will happen? It will be terminating decimal expansion. Clear? Fine. So we can argue that 1600 is equal to 2 raised to 6 into phi raised to 2. Phi raised to 2. Here, we don't, uh, doesn't have other other factors coming in, in, in the prime factorization of 1600. So that is not an issue. Even if you argue like that, that's okay. Okay, what we have done is we have simplified. Then the remaining we have prime factorized, right? Even if you see, you have, uh, if you don't know, uh, there's a confusion. Uh, if you have some doubts, other uh, thing is that they are co prime or not. What you can do is we can prime factorize the denominator if it has other than other than two and five <coughs> then prime factorize the numerator also that pay also you can do so if you are prime factorizing 15 it will become three uh, three times five right three to five correct so this five here i mean we can cut one time so remaining will be denominator will be in the form of two raised to six into Pi raised to one. Okay. Both way you can do. <clears throat> now we are checking that whether the denominator contain other than two and five. So it contain only two and five. So no issue. So it is in the form of two raised to m into five raised to n. So it is terminating, terminating decimal expansion. It has terminate is terminating decimal expansion. Let us go for the fifth question. Fifth question. 29 upon 343 divided by 343. Nothing is common. So 3, 4, 3, we can prime factorize. Okay, 2, no. 3, 3 plus 4 is 7 plus 3, no. 10. So it is not a, uh, it is not divisible by 3, not divisible by i. Okay, next is 7. Double 3, 6. Subtract from the remaining part 34. 34 minus 6 is 28. Right? It's divisible by 7. So this number is divisible by 7. Divisible by 7. In 34, how many times? Four times. Right? Four sevens are 28. Then we have a remaining 6. 
63, we have nine times, right? Nine sevens are 63. 49, seven times, seven sevens are 49. Again, seven in seven, one time. So 343, we can write in the form of seven raised to three. So it is not in the form of, not in the form of two raised to M into five raised to N. So it is non-terminating, repeating decimal expansion. Fine. Non-terminating, <coughs> repeating decimal expansion. Fine. Okay. So let us go for the sixth question. Sixth question. 23 divided by 2 raised to 3 into 5 raised to 2. So directly it is given in the form of 2 raised to m into 5 raised to n. So it will it will have a terminating decimal expansion. Terminating decimal expansion. Nothing to do. Right? It is in the form of 2 raised to m into 5 raised to n. Already they have given a denominator in that form. So decimal expansion, we can say that it is terminating, terminating. Okay, now seventh problem. 129 divided by 2 raised to 2 into 5 raised to 7 into 7 raised to 5. So the, de the denominators are already in the prime factorized form, right? So other than 2 raised to 2 and 5 raised to 7, we have 7 raised to 5 also. So it is not in the form of 2 raised to m into 5 raised to n because we have 7 raised to 5 also. So it is coming under non terminating repeating decimal expansion form. Right? Non terminating repeating decimal expansion form. Next, eighth question. 6 by 15. Here, 6 and 15, we can simplify. Common factor is 3, so we can make, cut 3 on both. So here we have 2, and here we have 5. So denominator is only 5, so it is in the form of 2 raised to m into 5 raised to n form. It means 2 raised to 0 into 5 raised to 1. 2 raised to 0 is what? 1 into 5 raised to 1. That is equal to 5. So it is in the form of terminating decimal expansion. Correct? Next, ninth. Thirty-five by fifty. Thirty-five by fifty. This also we can simplify because five is common uh, factor. In thirty-five, it is seven times, and fifty, ten times. So this is equivalent to seven by ten. Now seven and ten they are co-primes. So let us prime factorize ten. Two five times. In five five one time. So 10 can be written as 2 raised to 1 into 5 raised to 1. So this is in the form of 2 raised to m times 5 raised to n form. So decimal expansion is terminating decimal expansion. Clear? Tenth question, 77 by 210. So we can simplify, simplify to the lowest form. Or we can also do prime factorization on, on both. 77, 77 letters prime factorize. What is common? Seven, right? 11 times and 11 one times. Similarly, let us try and factorize 210. Two, how many times? In two one times. In one no, so you have to put zero and consider 10 in 10 to five times. Now, 
<clears throat> 1 plus 3 is 6, so it can be divisible by 3. In 10, 3 times 3, 3 is 9. So remind, remaining is 1. In 15, 3, 5 times. Now again, 5, 7 times. 7, 1 time. So 77 by 210, you can write it as 77 is what? 7 times 11 and uh, 210, 2 into 3 into 5 into 7. Correct? Here, 77 seven can be cancelled. So remaining 11 by 2 into 3 into 5. So see here, denominator, other than 2 and 5, we have 3 also, 3 also. So it is not in the form of 2 raised to m into 5 raised to n, because we have 3 also. So decimal expansion is non-terminating repeating, non-terminating repeating decimal expansion. Okay. Non terminating, this repeating decimal expansion. Okay. So, this question we have done all the 10 sub questions is completed. Fine. Learn well. Any doubts, you can contact me. See you in the next class. Bye bye.